Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press. We're just out of the uh, E. Barrett Prettyman Federal Courthouse here in D.C. We went in for U.S. versus Pras Michelle, but I have to tell you, although the openings hopefully will be tomorrow, it was another day, a third day of jury selection. They've now reached a group of a uh, panel of 36, and we'll exercise some peremptories and then strikes, and then that'll be that. So we'll have to have more on that soon. Um, up in New York, Guo Wengui has been granted a bail hearing. Whether he'll prevail, I don't know. But April 4th, we'll cover that as well. But we covered here the Proud Boys trial of Terrio, Nordin, Pozzola, uh, et al. And uh, they had a, a guy called Aaron. This was a, sort of a pseudonym. He was a confidential human source for the FBI, and he was in the Proud Boys, both in December and in January in D.C. He was crossed at length um, uh, by the government about basically trying... It, it's unclear. It's unclear to me, actually, why they put him on as the defense. Uh, he, 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 he acquitted himself pretty well, I'll say. We, we live tweeted it. You'll have to see. I mean, as well as he could. Uh, there was video of uh, a gate being pulled up and going in. There was chairs thrown at people. So um, he, he portrayed himself as not a tool of the FBI, but as someone that believed in most of the ideas or some of the ideas of the Proud Boys as a libertarian, but also was letting the FBI know if things got out of hand, if somebody was stabbed, etc. He was asked, did the FBI allow him to uh, uh, break the law? He said no. The prosecutor seemed to know that it was there was something he'd been allowed to hold that would be otherwise illegal, but it was never nailed down. So we we did we live tweeted both. We've written up the morning so far. Probably the afternoon soon. Also here in D.C., hearings on the bank failures and giveaways, and in New in New York, the stench sensible even from here in D.C. of U.N. Corruption. Today, the questioning was about Taiwan and why Antonio Guterres won't allow anyone with a Taiwanese passport into the UN. We'll never meet with the president of Taiwan because he's owned by China. Okay, inner city press, we continue.